Hey guys, make sure you stand to the end. One common mistake people make when replacing fuses relays that can cost you thousands of dollars in repairs. Stay with us, we'll explain what it is. Hey guys, welcome back to Auto Repair Guys. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel. Today will be a super helpful video to any of you having a Mercedes E-Class generation from year 2010 to year 2016. This is known as Mercedes E-Class WT12. If you guys have one of those, if you need to find where the airbag module fuses is located, you have four different fuses in two different fuse boxes. One is hidden, stay with us, we'll explain where you can find them. Now, consider this video for entertaining purposes only. This is not a how-to video because airbags, uh, working on airbags, removing, replacing fuses can kill you, hurt you or make the airbag system not work correctly or even explode. Uh, that's why this is for entertaining purposes only. If you're not qualified and certified, never work on airbag system, guys, they're dangerous. For any of you that are qualified and certified, quick reminder, disconnect the car battery for at least one hour and you need to, guys, uh, know which battery terminal to disconnect first. Otherwise, you can burn modules, computers, electronics, and that can cost quite a bit of money. We'll put a link in the description of the video below which battery terminal to disconnect and reconnect first. Also, we'll talk where you can buy cheap parts, tools, fuse, just realize at a good price quick shipping that way you do not waste money and time and why it's important to always test fuses and realize so before we start let us tell you a little bit about us guys now if you have a mercedes e-class that generation from year 2010 to year 2016 17 guys this is the w212 guys we're going to have a video for every single fuse relay on that car. Why things do not work? Why we're making this one? Because uh, we're trying to save you time and money, guys. Let's say you're down the road in the middle of nowhere. Your car does not start. You need to find where your engine starter fuse relay is located, guys. Where you can find fuel injection uh, system uh, fuses, fuel pump fuses. All you have to do, come to the channel, watch that video. One, two minutes, you're back on the road, guys. In addition, we'll share where you can buy cheap parts and tools that way you do not waste your money and time. Every single car we get here at the garage, we try to make, guys, at least two to 300 free repair videos. We take them completely apart. We show you how to fix mechanical, electrical, engine work, guys, body work, a little bit of everything. And we have more than 12,000 free repair videos on our channels that can save you thousands of dollars, guys, in free repair videos. Check it out if you need help with that. So let's go ahead and start on it now. So now, uh, before we start, guys, okay, let's explain. It will work on that generation Mercedes E-Class. This is the pre-facelifted model, this is the facelifted model, but it should work for both. You have multiple fuse boxes, but today we're working two. The first one is under the hood. Open the hood. Now here on the driver's side, you have a fuse box under this cover here. Open it, guys. Once you open it, you will find the main engine fuse box with a layout like this one right here. Now. Before we guys continue, let's explain quickly why it's always a good idea to test fuses and relays. So it is super important guys to always test fuses and relays and something else as well, common mistakes people make. Sometimes you may think that a fuse is good or uh, uh, you cannot actually see if the fuse is clearly burned and in that case guys you may need, uh, you may put the fuse back together uh, and you may end up spending money and time on parts you don't need and uh, all we had to do is just test the fuse. So we'll put a link in the description of the video below how to test the fuse, it takes only a few seconds to find out for sure if it's good or bad the same thing for relays guys okay uh, some of those could be really expensive on cars so we'll put a link in the description of the video below how you can test relays and for some certain fuses guys it's important to disconnect the car battery when removing them otherwise you can burn the electronics and uh, for instance working on airbags fuses or anything like that you need to wait at least one hour after disconnecting the car battery and if you're not qualified and certified to work on airbag system I will never recommend to do that guys uh, but when disconnecting the car battery, guys, okay, common mistake people make, it's important to know which battery terminal you disconnect, reconnect first, if you do it the wrong way, you can burn electronics modules, how we know about that, we burn uh, before the uh, traction control module on BMW, that cost is $2,000, guys, so uh, we'll put a link in the description of the video below, which battery terminal to disconnect first, check it out for your convenience. So here guys, okay, let's explain where you can find the airbag module fuses, okay? You have three fuses, then you have one hidden in a different fuse box. If you need to buy any fuses, relays, parts, tools at a good price, quick shipping, we'll put a link in the description of the video below for your convenience, please check it out. 
Here if we zoom in next to every fuse you have a number on the left or the right side that indicates the fuse number. The first one for the airbag module that we need to check is fuse number 8. That fuse right here. Then we need to check guys uh, another fuse which is known as fuse number 21. Right here. After that we need to check fuse number 15 guys. And we're talking about this fuse right there. After that, open the hood and where your jump starter terminal is located, right there, that's actually a hidden fuse box. That's what it looks like, removed, another angle. And right here, guys, that's open. Now, on the inside, they may look a little bit different. You may have up to three different ones because depending on which model engine you have, if it's a hybrid, if you have stop and go function. But here, the fuse that we need to check is known as MR8. It's that fuse right here. If you guys have any questions, don't hesitate to let us know. Hopefully the video was helpful and see you guys next time.